is about the 80s, which you weren't even born yet. No, I wasn't. What was that like jumping in, you know, a time you've never been in? <laughs> um, it was, I learned a lot. Yeah. I learned a lot. There's a lot of things about the 80s that, like, I was familiar with, but then some things yeah. that I'd never heard of and we've touched on on the show, and it's cool to kind of be in the 80s part-time, you know? Yeah. How did this job come along for you? You know, it's a long story, but I started out with music, uh -huh. and um, ultimately when I was about 15, I had met with record labels, and they said, it's great, and we love your music, but it would really help if you had like a platform like a television show, and I had no interest in acting originally, yeah. um, but I started taking classes back in my hometown of Dallas, and about four or five years later, I had auditioned, and I booked the show, and I was actually the first person that they saw for Erica, and it just all kind of came together and I just knew that that's the role I really wanted to be in and a part of and thankfully I'm here today. And you were doing stuff with like Hannah, like Hannah Montana prior and you've done, you've done a lot of stuff in your time. Little things here and there like stepping stones. I did like background vocals on a couple uh -huh. Hannah Montana songs or a Camp Rock 2 song. Um, and then, you know, get, getting to meet more people in the industry and it kind of just opened doors and opportunities for me. And Building yeah. those relationships with people, yeah. yeah. And you're getting ready to uh, kick off a tour, which is amazing. Yeah. That's exciting. Thank you. Thanks. What's the deal? Yeah, I'm a little nervous. You know, I've never done anything like this, but um, it's the Strong Suite and Southern Tour, and uh -huh. we're starting it in Dallas, Texas. Wonderful. And doing 22 different cities. And I'm so excited. I've never been on, like, a bus before and done the whole being on the road thing. So it's going to be a learning Smells thing. great. You're going to love it. Yeah, okay. You're going to love okay. it. Not you're making smells, me think this But you're going to love it. Yeah. Traveling. Kelly travels world. with, like, 10 guys. I know. It's like a locker room. But <laughs> yeah. I'm like the little sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, I, I have to say, I, um, I'm a little jealous of you, a little bit, because mm -hmm. you get to work with one, one of my favorite comedy guys from one of my favorite comedy shows, Kirby Enthusiasm, yeah. Jeff Garland, mm -hmm. and Wendy McClendon Covey, who I adore. Yes, we both do. Yeah. She was so awesome. Amazing. She is so funny. Tell, tell, tell normal people like us what's it like to work with such greatness every day. Honestly, it is a blast. Um, Jeff Garland, who you said you love, he is just a character, and he has these sayings that he comes up with all the time. I, don't, I can't even, like, name them all. Some of them are inappropriate. But it's just one of those things where... <laughs> Imagine has, that. Yeah, yeah. He has those things that he'll just, every day, he'll say it to the same person. And then with Wendy, I love being on set and just watching her take something and completely improv. Yeah. Like, yeah. they'll give her the easiest thing to do. I think at one point I remember she had a scene where she was supposed to squirt a ketchup bottle into like a pan of meatloaf or something. And she, the way she did it, yeah. it wasn't written in the script how to do it. The way she did it was so funny. Like right. she had written, I love you, and just like tilted it over to me. <laughs> and it was like, she just thinks of these things so quickly and it's inspiring to watch her. What do you think makes the Goldbergs so relatable? I think because there's so many different characters and family dynamics that it doesn't matter what kind of family you're from, you're going to find <laughs> a way to, like, connect. Oh, there you go. Yep. That's the photo. That's every family Everyone in America. has one. Yeah, I feel like you know, just whether it's, you know, you have that kind of brother that acts that way or you have an overwhelming, overbearing mother or whatever, someone relates to it. So I meet people all the time who say, like, oh, my mom is just like Beverly Goldberg. And yeah. we all kind of have that thing, you know? In the clip we saw before, you had that, the, the, she, that your roommate was yes. wearing that crazy jacket and the side ponytail and all that stuff. When you're put into these outfits and in the style, is it sometimes like, you know what, I would kind of rock this nowadays. Like, this is back <laughs> in style. This is cool. Actually, the majority of my characters' outfits come from Forever 21 and American <laughs> Apparel. So they're so, cool. They're, like, out it. right now. Fray. It's all about the fray. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, we, we understand that you have a secret talent that you want to share with us. I do. I have a weird secret talent. One time I was watching America's Got Talent, and there was a girl who came on who was singing with her mouth closed. Oh, cool. And I thought it was the funniest thing, so I tried doing it, and I just was able to do it. But I realized not a lot of people can do it that easily. So it's kind of, hopefully you can hear what I'm saying, but. Right. Uh, help me, help me. I'm, I'm stuck, stuck in a closet, closet and I, I can't, can't get, get out. out. Yeah, yeah. It's Roughly, so it's hard to like, what? oh my <laughs> gosh. Why that line? <laughs> that, I, I think that that's something that she had said or something. Uh -oh. I don't know why, but that's, it's, some words are hard to pronounce because of certain syllables and things. But a funny story, I actually had connected with someone who worked on Hannah Montana years ago. Yeah. And I had met Miley Cyrus for the first time. And that's, for some reason, that was the thing that they wanted me to like show her. Was that it wasn't like, hi, I'm Haley, nice to meet you. It was like, oh, show her how you talk with your mouth closed. <laughs> so that was the only thing I, I showed her. And that whole day, she had been, like, talking with her mouth, mouth closed. So I'm hoping one day I run into her again. And I'm like, hey, do you remember that one time? Mouth closed, yeah. yeah. That's the only thing she'll know me from. Oh, no. <laughs> Such a weird thing.